I am Patrick Strawn, joined by Nathan Jensen, who is on both the men's indoor volleyball team and the beach volleyball team. Thanks for sitting down and talking with us. Yeah, no problem. So you're on both the men's indoor volleyball team and the men's beach volleyball team. So for us that aren't volleyball savvy, like yourself, tell us like what are the big differences like in the between the two sports? Um, I would say the biggest difference is uh, timing. Basically, uh, when you play beach, it's a lot slower. Um, it's just, it's, um, there's not much um, diving in indoor um, as opposed to in, in outdoor. You can dive whenever you want and you don't have to worry about the pain and you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a, most of it is the timing I would say though, definitely. Yeah. And like for a guy who's from Lynchburg, Virginia, tell me like how does a guy really from Lynchburg, Virginia get into not only the sport of indoor volleyball but more so beach volleyball? More so beach, yeah. Um, I would say the biggest the biggest uh, in, I guess, with beach volleyball was probably the, the big community around here. And it just shot up probably within the past five years, uh, maybe 10 years, um, when Liberty started getting the, the beach courts. Um, so that was cool. Growing up here, it was very easy to get into it, um, especially coming from a basketball background where um, it was all jumping and, you know, tall people sports, I guess. So, yeah, that's kind of how I got into it. You just talked about the community aspect with, when it comes to the volleyball circuit here in Lynchburg. Like we're starting to notice this big trend. Like a lot of indoor guys are transitioning to playing beach volleyball as well, like yourself, mm -hmm. and playing it the sport year round. Why is that? Um, I mean, it's it's good to have uh, it's it's good to have the the ball um, in your hands for 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 year round because you're. Um, you're always staying active, and especially especially when it comes to beach, it's a much more um, stamina-based game. So you're you're definitely getting in shape when it comes to beach, and then when you come to uh, indoor, um, it's just easy to to transfer in, I guess, uh, especially stamina-wise. Like I was saying, um, do you ever do feel the like there's thing. an issue when you are like? transitioning from sport to sport like that from indoor and to uh, beach like there's a huge transition period that you have to go through to like try to remember like oh this is an indoor so I can't do the same yeah. things on the beach yeah so uh, one thing is every play in beach you're touching the ball uh, no matter if it's um, I guess you'd say offense or defense um, every play you're touching the ball I would say whereas in an in indoor you're you're more of a decoy some plays um, you're not always setting the ball, whereas in outdoor, uh, you're always setting the ball every play. So switching and making sure you're jumping every play in indoor, making sure you're being that decoy, uh, making the middle jump and think you're about to hit the ball in indoor, whereas in outdoor, they already know who's hitting the ball. It's just a matter of getting to the block. And I know for someone who's tall, I have those yeah. tall problems too. You know? Yeah. I know people, they saw us, they're like, those guys are tall. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah. so like, do you ever feel like before the match, you try to use that to your advantage to like get into the heads of the opponents and like, uh, yeah, like I said, like try to throw them off their game? Um, for, for me, not as much. I would say when, when they look at me, they see more of a, of a skinny guy. But, uh, <laughs> but as, a, as, a, uh, as a taller guy, I would say it, it does help. Maybe even for me, it, maybe it's more sneaky because they see a skinny guy, but uh, it, it does help being tall, obviously, in a, in a sport with a tall net like that. So, yeah. And you, as I touched on it throughout the interview, like you're on two teams, mm -hmm. you're a full-time student, but you're also a full-time worker. So like, how do you balance between all four aspects and do it so effectively as well? The main thing is, is staying up and doing um, your schoolwork, I think, I think the schoolwork is the main problem because it's mentally tough. And then when you go on onto the volleyball court, it's um, it can definitely get to you. You know, your your brain's not all there because you've been sitting in a classroom for so many hours, or you know, etc. It's just it's it can get it can get rough mentally. I think more than than physically, since you're sitting down most of the time. And with work, I guess it can be physically um, tiring and and uh, stamina can go down, but I think uh, overall, coming from high school where I did the same kind of stuff, um, I don't think it's it's too big of a of a problem this this time around. Well, 
hopefully uh, throughout the semester, like uh, it won't be too time consuming for you, and you'll find a way to balance all three, or yeah. sorry, all four. Take that. Yeah, back. yeah, for <laughs> but, sure. Yeah, thank you so much for sitting down and uh, taking the time to join with us. Yeah, no problem.